Let us start Maxwell thought equation that is Faraday's law of integral and differential forms. Let the work done is given by W equals force into distance that is F into L. And taking a small amount of work which is dW equals F times dL. And integrating dW which gives work done equals integral F dL. And keeping this equation aside. We know that the electrostatic force F is given by EQ, where E is the electric field and Q is the charge. Placing EQ in our first equation in place of F, we'll get W equals integral EQ dot DL. Keeping the Q aside, we'll get integral EDL. We already know that W by Q is a potential difference, or we can also call it as EMF. And therefore, the EMF produced is given by E equals integral EDL. And this is the integral form of a Faraday's law. According to Faraday's law, if we place a magnet inside a circular coil and keep moving it, it generates some voltage and thus uh, an EMF will be produced. And it is given by E equals minus d phi by dt, where phi is a flux. Uh, it can be given by b dot a or b a cos theta or in integral form it can be written as integral b d a. Taking the integral form of Faraday's law as we derived earlier, integral e d l equals e m f produced. And equating these two equations, minus d phi by dt equals integral e d l, we know that phi can be written as integral b d a. So therefore minus d by dt of uh, b d a equals integral e d l. Therefore taking b aside partial derivative of b with respect to t and integral e d a equals integral e d l. And the problem is uh, integral e d l is in the line integral form. So we have to convert the line integral into surface integral in order to integrate it. So we use the Stokes theorem here. Applying the Stokes theorem, we can convert the line integral into surface integral easily. So therefore we can write integral E d L equals integral del cross E d A, where del cross E is a curl of electric field. Therefore we can easily convert line integral E d L to curl of E d A which is the surface integral. And therefore by applying the surface integral to the above equation, we will get minus dou by dou t integral E d A equals integral curl of E d A. Therefore we will get the final equation as del cross E equals minus dB by dt, where del cross E is a curl of electric field which is equals to the negative times of a rate of change of magnetic field. It is the Maxwell's third equation.